We're going to talk uh, about Delta Airlines because it just reported their earnings. Want to get straight over to Phil LeBeau, who's got those numbers right now. Phil, good morning. Good morning, Andrew. This is a beat on the top and the bottom line by Delta, and we just flashed the bottom line, earning a buck forty-eight a share versus the consensus of a buck forty-three. And you might be saying to yourself, if you're a Delta investor, wait a second, didn't they give guidance in December a buck thirty-five to a buck forty? Yes, they did. So it's on top of that; it's exceeding that uh, guidance from just a month ago. Revenue coming in better than expected at twelve point two nine billion dollars. And then when you look at the metrics within the earnings, strong across the board. Take a look at revenue per seat mile up 19% compared to 2019. Domestic passenger revenue, up 7% compared to the fourth quarter of 2019. International passenger revenue, up 5%. Corporate travel bookings, down 20%, down just 20%. So it's 80% recovered compared to 2019. It continues to improve every single quarter. Premium cabin, cabin revenue, up 13% compared to the fourth quarter of 2019. And then there is the question, of guidance, and that's why you see the shares moving lower pre-market. They are reaffirming their guidance for full year 2023 earnings of between five and six dollars a share. But in the first quarter, Delta's guidance is to earn between 15 and 40 cents a share. The consensus on the street is to earn 58 cents a share. What's the difference there? Delta is factoring in the full cost of the pilot contract that it has a tentative agreement with the pilots union on. They expect that ratification. Once that happens, then you have the full cost factored in. They're doing it starting January 1st. Therefore, they're bringing down their expectation in terms of uh, relative to uh, the guidance or, or the consensus that's out there about what the company is expected to uh, earn. Again, earning, expecting to earn 15 to 40 cents in the first quarter. Also, when you take a look at the rest of the guidance, total revenue up 14 to 17 percent in the first quarter operating margin. They expect to uh, have it coming in between four and six percent. Lots to discuss with Delta CEO Ed Bastian. That's coming up in a half hour uh, guys, or I should say, yeah, but a little over a half hour from now when we're going to be talking with Ed, not only about the fourth quarter, better than expected numbers, but also about its guidance for the first quarter and the strength in the market that they're seeing right now. Guys, back to you.